in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire on the Holy Ghost. Who are you? Thank you, my Lord, for your daughter. All of you, go back to the place that you belong. In Jesus' name. Amen. How are you? I'm fine. You are fine? Yes. Yes. You are free. Amen. Thank Amen. You, Jesus. What happened, you know, all these years? I see tears. You suffer a lot. Yes. That's because you came in the right moment to, to Jesus. Yes. Tell us about what happened in all this life. Don't worry, honey. Jesus is going to use you. You understand me? To be a warrior. To be a fighter with darkness. That's because the demons afraid to go out. Yes. You understand me? Yes. Your body is free now. Amen. So tell us a little something. I knew all my life, since I was young, I liked to serve God. But I didn't understand myself, I didn't understand my destiny. And everywhere I go in churches, once I started realizing my giftings, God uses me a lot. But when I, God started using me through speaking, I mean speaking through me, I, I get rejection and I was asked even in some churches to gratify who is in me. And then once I got mad and I, I, you know, I just left the church, I went in my current church, still could not understand and I knew I needed deliverance. But I don't think even You see though, what she says? They don't understand that I need deliverance. The person inside knows how much suffer with the darkness. Okay? Yeah, and... I had a lot of struggles, good uh, prophecies that came along, men and women of God, but still I was stagnated financially in my spiritual life, I was still stagnated, I could not move on. And I knew I needed deliverance when my sister sent me uh, your videos and asked me whether I can uh, accompany her to come to this ministry and I started watching uh, the videos through the YouTube and I thought that it was a good idea. I didn't even hesitate. I just said I want my deliverance because I want to serve God. God knows my heart that I like serving God but I've been held for all those years 
I like praying, but a few months ago, I could not pray. I could not even read my Bible. I could not even wake up. All I do is, it could be, I pray a little prayer, but that is not me. I could pray for hours nonstop, but I, I could not pray anymore. In the past, since the beginning of this year, I started feeling that I could not even pray anymore. In my dreams, I could see witches coming into my dreams and what they show me is what exactly happens. And even uh, like last week, I mean on Thursday, I was, I was sleeping and I saw these pictures of a lot of witches and what they did is they showed me a lot of my family members getting um, car accidents and what happened that, that's the, I mean it was Wednesday night but then that's the morning my brother was going to the grocery store and he got hit his car got hit and when I realized that I said I didn't cancel that assignment from the enemy but you see what happened but he wasn't hurt but his car was messed up and I said God I want to understand my de destiny because if you can show me this and then it happens and then I was not in a position to cancel the enemy's assignment and then now my brother Father is here, although he wasn't hurt, but his car was messed up and he came to the house and said, I got an accident. And I didn't tell them anything and I said in my heart, I saw this last night. I saw my dad, I saw my brothers and I saw this picture, but I could not tell. I said, all I said in the morning, I remember, I reversed this assignment, but with, with the stronghold, I could not be able to pray even more to cancel the assignment of the enemy. But today I thank God for my deliverance because I know my destiny is where I'm going and God is my destiny. And I thank you, Jesus, for this ministry and what God is doing and what is God is going to do in my life. And I thank you, Pastor. You don't know me and I don't know you. I don't even know this ministry. I just came because I know I'm just hungry for God. I know I have a hunger for a young generation everywhere. I go they are attracted to me but when I go to talk to them sometimes we get to the norm but I can't deliver them and I feel bad I hate myself because I know they are coming whenever I go the young generation is attracted to me but when they come to me they even follow me they follow me to my church but they just go and then I cannot be able to do anything then I go to cry and I say God they came to me you send them to me but I cannot be able to do anything I thank God to come here because I've never been in here, but thank I don't you, go. Listen, thank you, Jesus, you come here, okay? Yes. Anything you need, you know, I shall be with you like a father. Yes. Connect with me, you know. You have any information, you send me. Yes. Go back and God is going to anoint your lip. Amen. To be a powerful preacher. Amen. Amen. Powerful. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Read the Deborah, read the Ruth. Amen. Esther. All of those great women who carry the name of the Lord up. Amen. 